Hello, my name is Renzo Grosje, and I'm currently a senior studying computer science here at Florida State University. And I'm here to present my research project titled Next Gen Properties. I have been working with Dr. Works as my mentor on this project, and I'm currently in the exploratory phase. So while I've not completed my research yet, I'll be working with Dr. Works over the next year to finish my research and to hopefully be back next year to present my final product. So with that being said, I kind of want to go into what exactly motivated me to start this project, what I've done so far, and what kind of to expect moving forward. So the purpose that I found in this project was to try and enhance current real estate investment and valuation tools through data analytics and machine learning. So my research question kind of focuses around what exactly, how can I exactly use those tools to really enhance what's currently out there and to make something that's potentially better. So I hypothesize that by implementing um, machine learning techniques and integrating multiple data analysis techniques that the real estate investment evaluation tool that I create will help users, uh, which are investors, buyers, etc., have a more accurate and dynamic property valuation and categorization system. So a little bit about the background of the project and kind of what I don't have listed here as to why I did it is I actually have a background in real estate. I have an active real estate license. I practice real estate in Florida and it's just a hobby of mine that I like to do in my spare time. So that kind of motivated me to take my CS education and kind of merge it with my interest in real estate. So kind of what's in, available on the market now is that a real estate valuation tool will help investors, buyers, and sellers make the most informed decisions. Um, some of the current limitations on the tools that are available is that they primarily rely on hard factors uh, such as closed sales data, and they fail to consider the soft factors such as the property type, the condition of a property, what the market trends are in a certain location, and the property category itself. So I saw that there is a gap in the marketplace that has not been fulfilled by this, and I am seeking to kind of fill in that gap with my project. So some of the terms that will come up throughout this presentation are machine learning, data analytics, data pre-processing, and feature extraction. So a little bit more, as I had mentioned before, I am currently in the exploratory phase. So I've not really finished my project at this point. However, I am kind of setting my foundation now to ensure that as I move forward, I'm going to be able to know what exactly to implement and how to do so as I proceed. So some of the things that I kind of want to implement in my project and that I anticipate are first would be location intelligence. So I really want to hyper localize and determine based on current and forecasted neighborhood and location trends to see what the potential investment return would be on a certain categorized property. For instance, whether it be a single family home, a multifamily home, and going a little bit further than that in terms of whether you want to hold it as a long term investment, whether it's a primary home, whether it's going to be something that you fix and flip. So kind of providing more categorization to them than what's currently available. Um, and then part of that going off of that would be the property categorization. So kind of goes into details I previously mentioned to really more narrow focus of what's currently available out there. And I also would like to implement a data uh, investment analytics tool. So to pretty much break down the numbers and to allow users to really see what they need to be at in order for a property purchase to make sense, given their, given their investment goals. So some of the proposed methods that I would like to implement into my project and that I plan to do so will be to use data that reflects sales data, demographic data, public records, economic indicators, just to name a few things. Um, part of the technical skills and processes that will go into it, first will be data pre-processing. So we'll be 
gathering the data will be one thing, but also cleaning and normalizing the data to really make it applicable and relevant to my research goals will be a crucial step that I'll be taking. And then also a feature extraction. So when I'm given a large data set, because property data is very large and always changing, I'd like to really pull out the important things and determine my categories based on things such as the property age, what it's zoned for, the size, category type, and that sort of thing. So some of the potential challenges and solutions that I might encounter might be the potential lack of available data. Um, other ways are also accessing data. Sometimes data is hidden by paywalls or is confidential information and you have to get creative as to how you can really extract data that is available. And sometimes also the completeness and the accuracy of available data. Uh, some of the potential solutions that I propose to these issues would be to use machine learning models to estimate for and calculate for missing data and to also uh, partnering with certain data providers for access and other sort of things. So at the end of my project, what I anticipate to have is to have something that's going to be a dashboard application that's going to allow users for either personal or commercial use to really be able to access all this information. As I like to mention always throughout this presentation is that I'm currently in the exploratory phase, so I don't have an actual working product just yet. But this is uh, image right here on your right is kind of something what I would like for it to look like, kind of just a rough idea for what my vision is for the research project. So currently what I have done is I've been able to analyze some basic data sets and extract data to see how it can be scaled and applied uh, when it comes to closed sales data, for instance, that's what I've been looking at primarily. Um, and I've also created in Python a simple calculator that will allow an investor to see how much they would need to purchase a property for and rent it out for exactly how to make a return on that initial investment and to allow them to determine whether it makes financial sense for them or not. And I've also continued to research into the different machine learning models and algorithms which are available to help me extract, analyze, and make predictions for data. So some of the sources of data that I've been able to extract so far have been from uh, Freddie Mac, Zillow, National Association of Realtors, and the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Those are for mainly for the actual data of closed home sales. Um, and some of the machine learning algorithms and models that I plan to use are linear regression for things of basically making a direct correlation and comparison between uh, features of home and price, some logistic regression uh, for binary classification properties, whether yes, this might be a good investment, no, this might not be a good investment, and then k-means clustering for being able to actually categorize the properties. So this right here is a screenshot example of my investment calculator in action. So basically it, it inputs the user to put in some numbers and what they purchase it for, how much they put it down, what the interest rate are, how long the interest rate term is. And it would tell you also what the down payment is and how long it would take to what you would have to do rent out a property for, for instance, if you were the minimum amount, if you were to want to make a return on that said investment. And then right here is a simple Python script that I implement using a pandas library uh, to extract data from uh, an Excel or CSV sheet. Um, and in this case, I just calculate the average uh, minimum and maximum prices, so sales price. So just a very simple implementation, which will be further developed as I continue along with my project. So some of the future steps moving forward that I would like to implement, uh, one would be to integrate a database into my investment calculator to allow users to save and modify subject properties. So when a property address is entered and you run the numbers on it, I would want, I'm going to be implementing a feature to be able to save that into a database and for allow users to retrieve and modify the numbers should anything change as you know, as property values fluctuate or rent fluctuates as well. 
Next, I want to develop the property categorization and location analysis tool for properties based on the factors which I discussed earlier in the presentation. And then lastly would be to integrate the entire project into a usable web-based application that will allow users to really implement and utilize the project. So overall, with NextGen Properties, I hope to make a progress over the next year and to have a deliverable project a year from now uh, through my continued efforts and research. And I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation. And I also want to thank Dr. Works for working with me and for the continued support that I'll be receiving. And I look forward to meeting with you all next year and having a deliverable project ready and able to show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.